When I first got a Chromebook, it took me a while to figure out that you can use function keys on it. Look at a Chromebook's keyboard and you won't see any function keys so anyone can easily make that mistake. My ignorance to this caused frustration while trying to debug code on a Chromebook, since I was so used to using the function keys for that. But you can use function keys. It's not immediately obvious, but it's super easy to use. To use function keys, all you have to do is hold the search button and hit one of the Chrome OS special keys in the top row. Each special key represents a function key. Here's what function each special key is mapped to. So holding down search and back will send an F1 key code to Chrome OS. Holding down search and the show all open windows key will send an F5 key code to Chrome OS. And holding down search and volume up will send an F10 key code. So what about the F11 and F12 keys? There's no more top keys except the power button. And if I hold search and power, it still brings up the power menu. Well, to use F11 and 12, all you have to do is hold search and minus for F11 and hold search and plus for F12. Now, any applications you have that make use of the function keys will be much easier to use. You can quickly test this by visiting this keyboard testing site. It will let you know if the function keys are registering. The site's URL is keyboardtester.com. So what if you want the top row keys default behavior to be function keys? So you don't have to hold the search button to activate them. Well, that's possible too. To change their default behavior, go to the Chrome OS settings. In the search box, type function. Click on the result keyboard function keys. On the screen that comes up, toggle the treat top row keys as function keys. Now you don't have to hold down the search key to get function key effects, but you still have to hold down the search key to use F11 and F12 though. To get the Chrome OS special keys, just repeat what we did previously to get the function keys. Hold search and one of the special keys to perform their actions. So that's it. I hope this tip helps you. If it did, let me know in the comments. Anyway, please like the video if you found it helpful. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.